another feature you get with this level of equipment um, is some really nice uh, backup as far as let's say you get um, distracted uh, this autopilot is is amazing um, what it can do it can do all the normal stuff but it can also anticipate um, if you are flying the airplane with the autopilot disengaged and uh, you get distracted or let's say you get um, incapacitated for some reason the auto the, the airplane knows better and it will um, take over and level the airplane out so let's see if we can simulate some of the autopilot emergencies that you might get into so this is the GFC 500 autopilot head um, and it's got some interesting buttons on it one is the um, the level button here which is the blue button um, you can hit this button and it will level the airplane out. Um, if you are hand flying the airplane and you decide, hey, I want to um, get something out of the back seat or something rolled under the front seat and you're hand flying the airplane, you hit that button, it's going to go wings level in the direction you were flying and it's going to fly it until it runs out of gas. So, um, pretty neat. Now, if you just hit the AP button, and right now I'm flying in heading mode, so I'm flying along in heading mode um, up the lake here, and uh, so it's going to fly a heading of 319 until it runs out of gas right now at 4,500. Um, so, the level button can do a couple of things. Um, you can use it, let's say if you, you get into an unusual attitude, um, you can hit the button and it'll come back. Now, the autopilot won't let you get into an unusual attitude unless you have ESP turned off, which is the electronic stability um, system that Garmin has. Um, so let me disengage the autopilot. And I am going to fly the airplane. Up here on the screen, you've got limits. So those little green lines there are the limits. And the airplane will go to those limits and then pull back. You see it pulling back? And it's I'm having to fight it now. So it's kind of like lane centering on your car. It is going to um, pull until... Autopilot. And then there, the autopilot engaged automatically. I did not do it. And now the airplane is in level mode by itself. It knew that something was wrong and it was something wrong long enough for it to kick in. So it automatically hit the blue button for me. Um, so again, the only time you'd ever need to hit the blue button manually would be if um, you wanted the airplane to fly straight and level, you already were flying straight and level, and you wanted to fly straight and level. Um, all right, let's disengage the autopilot again. Um, if I pitch the airplane up too much, it's also got pitch control, it's got speed control as well. So now I've got the arrows, and the, and the yoke is being pulled forward now. I can't pull back anymore. So it is um, pulling me to level. Now the airplane is still letting me fly it. So it did not, I didn't pull to the point where it would take over. But if I did pull to the point where it takes over, and continue to pull, which it takes a lot of force for me to pull, and get it to do this, it's going to continue slowing down. Engaging autopilot. Airspeed. 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 And there you go. So the airplane is um, on level mode now and accelerating without me doing anything. Now I've got the engine, you know, I'm not running at a whole lot of power right now. I'm at 62% power. Um, but I've got really a really <laughs> high pitch attitude right now. So let's lower the pitch attitude. Get some airspeed back up. All right, let's see what happens if I go in a nose down. So now we're descending. Having to push pretty hard to get it to descend. And our airspeed's coming up. Ooh. 
So I didn't get it to engage on descent. Um, but I don't think I was going fast enough for it to. Um, and I didn't want to push it, so we'll leave that one alone. <laughs> um, say you get into an unusual attitude, which is kind of what we were doing a minute ago. So let me get the airplane trim back out. Um, so unusual attitude, say you got distracted and um, you're flying along and you get distracted. And you get into an unusual attitude. So that's a pretty unusual attitude right there. Um, now the yoke is pulling against me. I'm having to really force this to get it to do anything and it's it's not happy. Autopilot. So there it went. So it engaged the autopilot. Um, the autopilot in this airplane is pretty um, docile. It's very smooth, but the level button's not. So um, you could take this thing to inverted, hit the level button, and it'll bring you back around. Now, with ESP engaged, can't do that, and I'm not going to demonstrate that anyway. But um, pretty neat. So all of that is ESP automatically engaging the autopilot.